Hey y'all, welcome back to Inside the Barrel. I'm Nathan. I'm Big H. I'm Double J and this is Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Not Snoop Dog, Nate Dog. Reason I bring that up, might be right around 420. We are Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're trying to appeal to our, our friends that don't like to drink. I was scrolling through the internet. Do we have those types of friends? I don't know. <laughs> Do we have them? I don't know any of them. I, I was scrolling through the internet, and our friends at Whistlepig decided... Oh, you know what? Double J's mom doesn't drink. She was on that uh, 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 Mother's Day. She, you know, she doesn't drink her mom. at all. But she might like this. This is for Double J's mom. So our friends at Whistlepig, they came out with this. It's actually a really cool box. But when you open it up, it's non-alcoholic. Well, that makes crazy. it very clear the market that they're going after. They're, they targeted it around January for those dry January that weren't going to drink. But you actually get cannabis-infused non-alcoholic rye whiskey in a old-fashioned mix. So they take... It's too much. There's a lot going on here, and, and, and I'm unboxing. I mean, it's, like I've done. Unboxing. You just contradicted yourself like four times. Okay, clarify for me. Well, you said okay. So first of all, you said it was a it's a rye, non whiskey. Yeah. But it's alcohol free. Yeah. But cannabis infused. Yeah. How can it be a whiskey? <laughs> not, <laughs> not psychedelic. Yeah. It's all hey, of those things. The only thing I understood was maple syrup. Oh. So it, it is. Oh, wow. Brand new bottle. That's nice. Um, so, all right. We're going to pour. I can pour heavy for you here. We actually got our new inside the barrel glasses that we're using here. Um, and it's an old fashioned mix. We probably should have thrown some cherries on there. Wait until you get a nose of that one. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Double J's mom will love this. I haven't smelled this since high school. Oh, I did the other day when wow. I drove past one of the exits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. So it's actually, it okay, so it is cannabis grown in whiskey barrel, and they take the turpins, and they, they, they put it into this non-alcoholic whiskey. Yeah, I don't think I like turpins. Mmm. Ain't dry old fashioned. Cream. I don't know. It's refreshing. <laughs> 100% rye, non whiskey, barrel aged in maple syrup. Yeah, I'm not getting any and maple. Cannabis terrapins. I'm just not feeling it, but okay. Oh, <laughs> Vermont grown hmm. cannabis. Yeah, Vermont grown. They know how to. Make cannabis up there? It's I mean. not terrible. You guys are, it's not terrible. I like the smell better than what it tastes well, like. The smell yeah. smells like what what, what, what my brother Snoop Dogg likes. It's, um, <laughs> for shizzle. You know, I don't I don't know it's alcohol free. You know, if you wouldn't have told me it was alcohol free, I don't know if I would have guessed that. But it, it doesn't have a very strong no taste to it. No, it's like an iced tea almost. It almost does taste like iced tea. It tastes really watered down too. And like the tannins that you get from like an iced tea every once in a while, that's what those chirpins kind of feel like. The smell though is like, smells like, like like a bag like a bag of weed. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It smells like a bag of weed to me. Yeah, I would say that. I I I I look for a little bit more alcohol in my drink, so for me, it is definitely not going in my rotation. It will sit mm -hmm. on my shelf just because the concept, like Big H said, makes zero sense. Makes zero sense it's with everything that's going on in there. Absolutely no sense. From from a taste perspective, it's I I'd rather drink iced tea and and I don't know smell my neighbor. So, I yeah. Don't yeah. Know. Exactly. Nate Dog was supposed to do some research on how they actually make a non-alcoholic whiskey because, you know, I would think that as you take the mash bill and, you know, everything ferments with the yeast and stuff, that's what produces the alcohol. So how you extract that back out, I don't know. So so you guys, you, you, guys, you guys, after you get done subscribing right. to our channel. Tell us. Yeah, after you get done subscribing to our channel, Google that and put it in the comments. But uh, otherwise, I think I spent 50 bucks on this thing. Oh, my Had Lord. Had it shipped to the house. It makes a fun episode. It looks cool. It looks but cool. Terpenes. Terp 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 
Ter- yeah. If you want well, to do I get to give it a rating? Is that eat terpenes? What is that? Yes, so, please. What's your I'm going to give it a 2.0 only because they made an effort. It's got a good nose, but it's not going on my shelf. I'm not purchasing it. But let us know what you think. Yeah, leave it in the comments, all those questions mm-hmm. that we have for it. Is it even going on your shelf? Or are you, probably are not. Are you disappointed we even did this episode? Yeah, yeah, probably not going on my shelf. It was definitely interesting, something unique to try. I mean, I'm Again, gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to insert all the pictures of the joints and the cannabis and all that. And all you 420 folks out there right now, like at least we can relate to you somehow, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Like, Again, share, subscribe. Big time subscribe. Check out our LinkedIn. Tell page. a friend. Go to Twitter. We're all over the place. There's no Twitter anymore. It's, it's X, called X. 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 Okay. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.